Hi guys, as usually it's me, just a voiceover, you are watching review machines, and this is mini ATV or Maxi Motors LED roasting. You might have seen our summer tests of this machine. By the way, that video turned to be pretty successful, no wonder, it's really interesting machine. In fact, it's a highly versatile vehicle that can be used in any season and in any conditions, including water, that we showed in summer video. But then we've got many requests from you to test this ATV in snow. Well, now we probably have the deepest snow of this winter, so it's high time to make such a test. Make some tea and get comfortable, my friends, we are to start right now, let's go! The detailed review of the ATV you may see in our summer video, now let's remember the key features. In fact, this vehicle is something between a tracked ATV and a motor sled. It's too small for ATV, but too large for a motor sled. There are two tracks, 220 mm width each. The tracks are equipped with a suspension system. The body is made of a robust plastic 8 mm thick. The engine compartment and the trunk are waterproof here. Let's see what's under the hood. There is 15 HP engine working together with a CVT transmission. Next to it we see a gearbox with a reverse mode. The trunk is separated from the engine compartment, and as I said, both of them are waterproof. The handle is standard for any motor dog, and this is a reverse mode handle. By the way, the trailers that come with the vehicle are also quite interesting. Today we have a standard version of a trailer, it's made of the same thick plastic, and it also suitable both for winter and summer season. In winter there are ski as we can see, and in summer we can replace them with wheels. By the way, there is also a simple suspension, so it would be quite comfortable for a driver and a passenger. Moreover, as well as the vehicle, the trailer can float, so it's able to get over water obstacles. I would like to remind you that in summer we tested the ATV with another trailer. It's called 3-in-1, cause it can be used not only as a trailer, but also as a camping tent. It's quite large trailer, 2060 mm, that allows to stay overnight and sleep there in comfort. Moreover, there are special balloons for the trailer. With them, the trailer can be converted into a real motorboat, there is a transom for a motor. The trailer is equipped with a suspension system, it's also all seasonal. For the more detailed tests, watch our video about the trailer here on the channel. And now let's get back to our winter story. Let's try to start the engine. Chinese engine Lifan is suitable for use in frosty weather, up to minus 30 Celsius degrees. Before we start our trip, I'd like to mention that the vehicle in standard version comes without a reverse mode, but to my mind it's a necessary option for such a large machine. It's hard to understand for me why the manufacturer doesn't include a reverse in standard set of options. Then I liked how the brakes work, they are light and predictable, allowed to stop at any moment. And now I think it's high time to hit the road. Well guys, we have quite an exciting route for today. Moreover, as I said, there is so much snow, so it's going to be an interesting trip. Now we are going together with my colleagues, with full trunk, and the machine doesn't feel any load at all. By the way, we tested its maximum speed in summer, the result was 32 km per hour, so we can't call it rather fast machine. The main its advantages are other. First of all, it's all seasonal transport that can be used in any conditions. In summer it's able to move on swamp, sand, dirt and water. In winter it goes on snow. Besides in our state, this machine doesn't need to be registered and you don't need to have a special driver license for it, cause officially it's just a motor sled. On the other hand, there are of course some downsides. Actually, there is no any steering system, you have just a mechanical handle, and you turn the machine with it by your own strength, like on a regular motor sled. But on a small motor sled it's not so difficult, 
In our case, the machine is large and heavy, and it takes serious efforts to handle it. So it will take some time and strength to get the hang of the machine and be ready to do some physical exercising when driving it. Meantime, we are moving forward, and as I said, both the machine and the trailer are equipped with the suspension system. And it really works when you are moving on a bumpy road like this. It moves quite smoothly, without the harsh bumps. That is good both for the machine and the passengers. But do not think that is very comfortable transport? I wouldn't say so. The suspension is the simplest here, but undoubtedly it's better to have it than to move without any suspension at all. There are a lot of twists on our way, so it's quite a job to maneuver here with the mechanical handle. No time to freeze at all. By the way, our small standard trailer is more suitable here, because it's more maneuverable. On the other hand, another trailer, 3-in-1, allows to set up a tent, to have a rest and warm up, for example. Speaking about other features, as we showed in summer video, this ATV is able to float. Such an ability will do a lot of good for those people who love winter fishing on a thin ice. You may be sure that your vehicle won't sink. And now it's time to test this vehicle in deep snow. As you can see, we have today a lot of loose and deep snow. We are going to leave the beaten track for the virgin snow. Let's go! Well, frankly speaking, you have to know how to control the machine in such conditions to be able to move here. As you can see, the ATV is able to go through the deepest snow. Unlike other motor sleds, there are two tracks, and due to them, it's easier for the ATV to overcome such deep snow. But do not think it's our mighty machine. It's quite easy to get stuck in the snow. Thanks, we have here a reverse mode. So we managed to escape from the trap when we detached the trailer. Meantime, it's getting dark outside, and now we are going to do some kind of hill climbing. It's hard to see how steep the hill is, but you can take it from me. It's a serious obstacle. Let's watch how our vehicle goes here. Well, it's a steep and quite long ascent, so the driver has to help the machine a little bit, as we can see. Anyway, the ATV overcame all these hills. And it's time to speak about the prices. And the prices start from $3,000. It depends on the kind of a trailer and set of options. Well, thanks for having a ride with us, my friends. Please consider subscribing the channel if you liked this video. Stay with us, there will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.